What is going on YouTube? This is Arctic Fox. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at the missing persons case of 23-year-old Dane Elkins who is missing from Santa Cruz, California. Uh, he has been missing since December of 2020. Now there have been sightings of him. Uh, the last known location that he was at was in Oakdale, California on the 12th of July, 2021. Dane is 5 foot 11 inches tall and weighs 170 pounds with brown hair and green eyes. His family is very concerned about him. And there's a lot to unpack in this particular story, guys, so we're going to get into it. Dane, by all accounts, was a great student, a wonderful son. He was an engineering student and a champion racquetball player who has been missing now for over two years. Dane disappeared in December of 2020, and his mother believes that the reason for his disappearance is that he had a psychotic break and that he's been living off the grid with the homeless. So his mom has launched an intense social media campaign in the hopes of trying to find Dane and bring him home. Now, the day that he disappeared, Dane made a rambling video post on Snapchat. And he said that the government was after him and the family, and that's when the family knew that something was really wrong. Before his disappearance, Dane was a 21-year-old engineering student at UC Santa Cruz. He was also a black belt in karate and a racquetball champion. He had won 23 na junior national titles in both doubles and singles competition. It was, you know, he was just an amazing pleasure to work with, according to everyone that knew him, especially his racquetball coach. And off the courts, Dane was a funny guy who liked to spend time with his family, making silly music videos with his siblings. Family meant everything to him, and he never missed a birthday celebration. They weren't just Dane's siblings. They were his best friends, according to his mom. But like so many of us, when the COVID-19 pandemic hit, it forced us into isolation. And that's when his mother, Deborah Elkin, saw a big change in Dane. He'd be laying there in bed all day and would disappear into the night. He'd leave the house and say that he was going to stay with friends, but he'd actually just be living in his car. And on the 21st of December, Dane Elkins called his mom from the highway, saying it wasn't safe for him to come home. It was one of the last things that Dane would say to his mother. He told his mom that her life was in danger, and that there were targets on her and targets on his father, Police did find Dane's car along a mountainous section of a highway with a flat tire. His wallet, cell phone, and computer were inside the car. And his mother thinks that Dane was just scared of being tracked by the government. So he left anything traceable behind his car. And this is actually something that's pretty common since the pandemic. And it's believed that Dane may be suffering from schizophrenia. He may have had a psychotic episode. You know, there have been reported sightings, like I said. The first reported sighting was in Bakersfield, and then in Mojave, and then in Northern California, where a woman said that she had brought him, had bought him food at a Taco Bell in Oakdale. That was in July of 2021. 20, um, and then she describes Dane as a younger gentleman in his early 20s, nice looking but a little scruffy. He'd been traveling on the road for a while, but he was very polite. And he said thank you, and he was very well spoken. The most recent sighting came in April of 2022, actually, on the Santa Cruz Wharf, where a young mother and her son were approached by Dane. Again, very polite, super nice, seemed a little scared of the government. And so, you know... The witness that saw him gave him a $20 bill, and as they were leaving, they heard Dane order water and a taco. Now, Deborah, Dane's mother, is confident that these witnesses were speaking about her son. All the credible sightings have said that Dane accepted food, he was very polite, 
and specifically asked for bottled water, which, according to family, he loves bottled cold water. But in two years, there haven't been any verifiable photos taken, and there's been no contact from Dane to his family. His mom's now focused on the kindness of strangers and on social media to try to help find him. She's hoping that everyone's keeping an eye out, and, you know, she's hoping to hear about it in real time to try to get to him before he leaves the area. And so she's asking, if you do see him, take a discreet photo, take a video, so that they can try to identify it as Dane for certain. Dane's brother Cody has followed his brother's racquetball footsteps and has been picked up for Team USA. And, you know, Dane would be so proud of his little brother. And so I'm hoping that together we can bring Dane home so he can see all the accomplishments that Cody's doing, how Cody's following in his footsteps. And so, if you do have any information on Dane or his whereabouts, you're asked to please take a photo, take a video, be kind, chat with him, offer him food, and then call 562-504-6005 immediately and give the family the details so that they can try to find him. They're trying not to get the police too involved with Dane's case because Again, he's in that paranoid state, and they feel that if the police approach him, it's only going to scare him further. It's going to drive him further away. And granted, yes, Dane is an adult, and he can make his own decisions, but the family is really wanting more than anything just to know that he's safe, just to know that you know, he's not in any danger, and they want to offer help. They want to get him the mental health help that he needs above all else. And so, again, I want to get Dane's face out there on social media. Someone out there has had to have seen him. You know, we've had several sightings, but again, by the time the family is able to get there, it's too late. And there's not been any photograph documentation. They haven't had direct contact with Dane, which they need to know that, you know, he's still alive. And so, again, if you have information contact 562-504-6005. We need to get Dane's face circulating all throughout social media. He's been missing now, again, for over two years. And this family just needs their loved one back. Dane needs to get the mental help that he so desperately needs. I know that the pandemic was a nightmare for a lot of us. And so, I mean, it's not unheard of for people to have these types of mental breaks due to the pandemic, especially being in isolation. So let's get Dane out there. Give the video a like. If you've seen him, definitely get in contact with his mother. Definitely take a photograph if you do come across him or a video. Uh, but the most important thing I need all of you to do right now is to share the video out. Let's get Dane's face out there all over social media. Um, you know, the more people that see him, the better the chances are that we can bring him home safe. If you know people in California, definitely share this to the California groups. Share it with people you know in California, because that's where all the sightings have been. And as always, guys, I do want to thank you all so much for tuning in and watching. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Y'all be kind to one another out there, and let's bring Dane home safe.